Just a quiet night in Tottenham. Calm, of course, because Spurs turned in a five-star show in Edinburgh last week. Welcome to Edinburgh. Always a special game for Scottish people against England. Really intimidating atmosphere here. The most atmospheric settings in Scottish football. Spurs will know they're in a game tonight. It's Raphael van der Vaart and Tottenham have the early lead and Ty Castle. Van der Vaart, Lennon went into Defoe, beautifully played and beautifully finished. Blast from Tottenham Hotspur. It's lovely play, Liverpool gets it back from Defoe. Oh, it's Sweden! No flag here, Bale's onside. Gareth Bale, 4 0. Stretched. Lennon waits in the centre. Here's Aaron Lennon. Fabulous goal. They lead 5 0. They were good last night, Tottenham. Uh, last week, I should say. Harry Redknapp looked a happy man then as his Spurs side turned it on. But he seemed an awful lot hotter under the collar at Old Trafford on Monday night. So, where are Spurs really at? Here's the boss with Gabriel. Harry, first of all, uh, four academy kids are in tonight. The three making their debuts. When that happens, do you. Um, do you tell them in advance or do you break, it, break the news to them uh, on the night? Well, we did a little bit of work yesterday and uh, a couple of them, three of them were actually involved yesterday in, in a bit of team play that we did. But then today we had a couple of people drop out. Um, Carl Walker wasn't fit. He's got a, a tummy bug that he had the other night and forced him to come off Old Trafford. And Jermaine Janus has, uh, has uh, gone down the hill as well this afternoon. So. Um, young Ryan Fredericks has come into the team as well, so that's it's, it's a great opportunity for him. What a night for them! Yeah, fantastic for them, you know, and uh, you know, good experience. Tim Sherwood works with the kids, and uh, and Les Les Ferdinand, Chris Ramsey, they like like the kids. They think they're, you know, we like them. We think they're good young players. So it's a great chance to see what they can do. We've seen Emmanuel Adebayor sitting up there with a big smile on his face right. as he signed. I haven't seen him and I, and I don't know. I think he's having a medical and I really don't. I haven't met him tonight, but uh, until you mentioned it to me just before, I didn't even know he was here. I know he was having a medical, but I wasn't sure if he was here or having a medical or something. Deals, you know? The deal should yeah, be closed. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will get done. Yeah, it's a loan deal and uh, it's, it's a great loan signing for us. You know, I think he'll, you know, if, if, he's, uh, if he does what we feel he's capable of, he could be a fantastic player for us. Now, I know Luka Modric tonight. Um, mm. You are, though, absolutely convinced he'll be... Available Sunday, and yeah. he'll be a Tottenham player this season. Yeah, I'm sure he will. The chairman's said all along that he's not going, and so uh, that's that's great. You know, we want to keep him. He's uh, he's a fantastic player, and uh, uh, you know, I've said before, I enjoy going in every day watching him train. He's that good, watching him play football. So um, we need him, and uh, he's here to stay. I'm sure. It's, it's your first home game. Mm. Uh, obviously, it's been a very difficult time for Tottenham, the community. What what role can football play, Harry? Well, it's you know as you say, it's been a tough time in in, in the area of Tottenham. We I keep saying we, we do an awful lot of stuff in the community Tottenham, but we've got to keep doing that. And we've got to keep doing even more because you know we're involved in this area. This is where we belong. Um, we do a lot with the kids here. I mean, you come over to back here on Tuesday, Thursday nights, whatever. There's 80, 90 kids, 100 kids playing football in our in our community project that we run so we've got to keep doing that and I think myself and the players can probably do even more to get amongst the community and is there anything we can do if anyone wants us to go anywhere come and speak to people I'm always up for it thanks Harry good luck tonight Pleasure. thank you thanks, well, Larry makes the point that it's uh, a role that the club can play in the community and between the traveling Scots and of course the Tottenham faithful it's a pretty good turnout considering last week's result and uh, you might have expected a tamer atmosphere here, fellas, but this looks pretty good, pretty noisy. Yeah, but it is Tottenham's first competitive home game, yes. so that's... Uh, and I would think the supporters will be pleased to see some of these youngsters getting a game. You know, I think supporters genuinely like to see kids come through the academy and succeed. They can relate to them better, yes. perhaps, than some of the uh, foreign players that come across. So they'll be hoping that a couple grab the attention and grab the opportunity. Yeah, and it sounds like it's almost a younger team than even he had in mind. He's... Yeah, yeah, you, you, you'll get that. It's, it's amazing how many 
we niggle the injuries and <laughs> you can get when things are, you know, it's not so important. Yeah. But the Hearts fans have turned up, they'll do anything to get the rain, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved it for the last six months, it just rains all the time. So anything, any excuse to get away from Edinburgh and get the rain. Yeah, and it's, it's clearly about the attitude of both teams tonight, isn't it? How much do the Tottenham young players want to impress and how much do Hearts want to make amends for last week. Yeah, I mean, the important thing for Tottenham is that the older players that are in the side help those youngsters to go and express themselves. They've got to be the solid citizens uh, and allow the young kids to go and play with as much freedom as they can. People will always say enjoy it, yeah. but they won't enjoy it. You know, it'll, it, it's pressure. That's it's amazing when you're an older player, you, you, you do kind of feed off the, the energy for the youth round about you. You take a bit more responsibility. You actually enjoy having these kids round about you. And playing and, and you're helping them out. It's, it's, it's good fun. It really yeah. is good fun. I'm a bit of a footballing parent, I suppose. Uh, and of course, should the extraordinary, the almost unthinkable happen, as you saw from Tottenham's bench, there's plenty of strength in depth there. So just in case Harry and his coaching staff need it, the likes of Defoe, Van der Vaart, etc., are available to him. But teams emerge here at White Hart Lane to a good reception. And the second leg of this Europa League playoff is coming right up. Well, here's a scene that tells a story. Handshakes all round. First for the agent, I presume, and then for the player. Daniel Levy welcoming Emmanuel Adebayor to Tottenham Hotspur on a loan deal, as you've heard. We're all set for Tottenham against Hearts. 5-0 from last week's first leg. To call this one for us here at White Hart Lane, Andy Townsend, and first a good evening, as always, to Clive Tills. Thank you, Matt. Good evening, everybody. Well, let's face it, if this turns out to be truly exciting, it will be because it's truly historic. Records will have to tumble for Spurs and Hearts to be headline news in the morning, but there are a host of bright young things on view looking to make a name for themselves. They've all got plenty to play for. The Hearts players a wonderful travelling support to play for. They will guarantee the atmosphere and make up for the uh, empty seats elsewhere. The backdrop is the future, the future of Luka Modric and the transfer target Spurs are trying to bring in. In the more immediate future, Manchester City's visit to the lane on Sunday and Hibbs' visit to Tynecastle on Sunday. And some of tonight's cast will grace those occasions, just how many may well be up to them and how they perform in the next 90 minutes. Andy Townsend, who uh, watched from the touchline as Tottenham took parts apart a week ago. It was a totally different cast list tonight. It is, Clive, actually. Lots of changes, both sides, but uh, which actually freshens the game up. Of course, Spurs very much favourites, but very interesting to see how these young boys are going to do here at home. I wish them all the very best. It was a nervy time when you make your debut in whatever the state of a, of a two-legged tie, but let's hope they really play well. Robin Kovacs, one of the uh, Hearts youngsters, has come into the side tonight and able to link up with the other winger. Templeton playing from the right tonight, Robin Kovacs from the left. Now Spurs making a way forward with the highly promising Harry Kane, looking to link up with Ryan Fredericks, who is the surprise inclusion tonight. He woke up this morning with no idea that he'd be involved in this game. 18-year-old Ryan Fredericks. On a corner. Dawson and Bassong are forward for this, which Huddleston will take. Way. This is Andros Townsend playing in an unfamiliar left back spot. This is where he does his damage usually down the left wing. Swung in by Carroll. Shaw Luca. Fed into Dawson, who's still forward. Spurs need to regroup now. In. May well find that he's uh, ahead of his midfield player most of the evening. He is a winger by trade. He hasn't won the free kick he was looking for. He is a positive player, but every chance he gets, he will want to take people. And he did it last week, as you say. Maybe Tom Carroll can just adjust his position when he can, just tuck in a little bit and offer him the space from on the outside. Carroll's header forward towards Kane. Almost uh, 
a mix-up between Robinson and Webster. Robinson emerges with the ball, now Templeton. And the uh, Hearts team going through your picture, only four started last week's first leg of the Spurs team, only Michael Dawson and Jake Livermore are on duty from the outset again. Livermore. Now Shaw Luca. Olsen tossed into the path of Townsend again. Going forward again. Picked off though by Ryan McGowan. Now Templeton. Didn't really get a chance to run at Spurs a week ago. It's his game, played behind Scatchell though, Frederick's away. Yep. Kyle Walker, five a week ago, played very well against him, extremely quick. But uh, Templeton's highly rated, interesting to see how he gets on tonight, two young guys down his side. Also, we want to try and get that and see if he can influence. And certainly the Hearts players, I'm sure, will want to give a far better account of themselves than they did a week ago. They didn't compete, they didn't play, they were just getting caught in between all over the place. And Tottenham had the run of the park. Pavlyuchenko. Run back by Huddleston. Another opportunity for Pavlyuchenko, fed forward by Carroll. Beyond Kane. Harry Kane's 18 years of age, he's been scoring goals in pre-season. They've been talking about him here at White Hart Lane for a couple of years now. Six-foot England under-19 international striker. We've got some goals at Lake Orient on loan in League One in the second half of last season. Emmanuel Adebayor's lone move from Manchester City has now been confirmed. It was uh, nice that we were able to break the news to the Tottenham manager. And when we saw him shaking hands with Daniel Levy, it looked like the man to Adebayor's right was actually introducing them to each other. <laughs> Is it possible to complete the transfer without meeting chairman or manager? He's shook hands with that many chairmen lately, Club. He doesn't know where he is half the time. Hopefully, Emmanuel Adebayor will be able to, uh, to knuckle down and get some decent games under his belt and really have an effect here at Spurs. Spurs continue to look for new recruits. Adebayor is the first big signing in the summer after uh, Brad Friedel. And the buzz in the corridors is that Luka Modric stays. This is Jonsson, Icelandic player, to Skatchel. Familiar Czech, getting his first start of the season for Hearts tonight. Robinson here has been filling in in midfield for the suspended Ian Black in the last couple of league games. McGowan, the right-back, started the season in the team. Towards Smith, who's getting his first opportunity of the season, and Skatchel, who is a goal-scorer, a little wild with that attempt. Better football though, wasn't it? Patient build-up, accurate passing, clipped into Smith and the little nod back for Skatchel was one of those that's very tempting to hit. Catch it right, it can work the goalkeeper, get it wrong and it can fly out the ground, but that's better. Paolo Sergio will be pleased with that sort of quality in the build-up. 23 days in charge of Hart, succeeded the club legend Jim Jeffries, just three games into the season. Paolo Sergio, the Portuguese coach employed by uh, Vladimir Romanov to change the fortunes of Hearts again. Townsend's having a ball on this side. It really is hugging the touchline, Clive. It doesn't matter if Tottenham are flying down the right side, Andros Townsend is literally out here with chalk on his boots. Every time he receives it, head down, running straight at the opposition. Doing a decent Gareth Bell impression. Tom Carroll is playing on the left of the Spurs midfield, is a central midfield player really by trade, he's not usually out wide, so he'll be happy to tuck in and let Townsend run. Header away by Zalukas. As far as Townsend, there is only one Townsend on the field. The ball seems to be drawn to him. It's a good ball from Carroll. Here's Ryan Fredericks. 
Livermore. Johnson standing his ground. Spurs get the decision. Jack Livermore is establishing himself and the heart of a, an injury hit. Tottenham midfield played at Old Trafford on Monday night. Huddleston with a good pass for Townsend. Clearances by Webster. And back again by Townsend. Has he been inside his own half before that yet? Stopped by McGowan. Scatchel trying to get Smith on his way, but just missed kicking. Needs to be better than that, Rudy Scatchel. He knows he has to hold it up to try and allow the team to get out. Fredericks. Playing because uh, both Carl Walker and Jermaine Genius have gone down with the uh, illnesses today. Both would hope to be available for selection when Manchester City play here on Sunday lunchtime. Carroll towards the tiptoeing Huddleston. Out as far as Kane, hit by Pavlyuchenko, and a smart save by Harda Bidlothian's backup goalkeeper, Jamie McDonald. Yep, good work from the goalkeeper, good hit as well from Pavlyuchenko. It's a lovely little drifted ball in from Carroll, looking for Tom Huddleston. They pick up the pieces with Kane, instantly hit from Pavlyuchenko, and the goalkeeper has to be pretty smart to turn it away. Huddleston's corner. Over the head of Basson. Townsend. Carroll. Headed by Zalukas. That's good control from Livermore. Cynically stopped by a defeated fullback. Yeah, good little take from Fredericks, just stops it and then just nips it past Granger, looking to run beyond him. Not quite sure why that's not a yellow card, really. Fredericks versus Granger again. We've got pace, Fredericks. Oh. He had a cross, couldn't quite put it back far enough for Kane or Pavlyuchenko, but a bright start. Spurs have got a problem with Tom Huddleston, who has never quite recovered full fitness after picking up a bad ankle injury last November. There have been real concerns about him in the last 10 days. It's the reason he didn't start at uh, Old Trafford on Monday, and he's limping again here. We've got Sandro recovering from the knee operation at the moment. They've got Palacios out, they've got Pinar out for a while, they've got Modric. Oh, well, have they? <laughs> they've got problems in that area of the field and they need Tom Huddleston fit. Yeah. He'll know the importance of trying to persevere and stay on Clive, his own fitness point of view. Nothing worse than missing games early on in the season. You feel you're always playing catch-up and spending time in the treatment room, never out there working with the lads Monday to Friday and missing games and you just feel like your season starts to drift away. So. If he can run it off, great, he can stay out there and get on with it. Obviously, he has to be very careful because if it's going to get worse, then he's going to be out for even longer, so he's just got to judge it. Townsend stopped by McGowan. McGowan played in to Smith, who seemed to be held by Dawson, got his shot away, rattled to Ducini's crossbar, who was very unlucky not to score. Dawson actually had a hand out to hold him there at one stage in that move to Granger, Johnson. Well timed by Templeton! Flicked over Pudicini, but wide of his goal. Sensational strike from Smith for the first effort, Clive. Right? Really, really good play. Look, he peels between the two centre-halves. Good first touch, hits it, and it's a sweet, and Pudicini's nowhere. That's flown past him and rattled the crossbar before he's even had time to see it. 
done exactly the right thing. Half a yard, just keep your head down and strike it very firm. He does exactly that. And that is very, very unlucky. Deserve better. And a chance for Kane at the other end. Stopped by McDonald, cleared by McGowan. Two young strikers almost making their impact on the night. First Gordon Smith at one end, and then Harry Kane at the other. Yeah, just overrun it a little bit there, Harry Kane. Just offered a slice of it to the defender, and he was stretching in the end. He worked from the goalkeeper again. who is moving a bit more freely now is that it, it was a, a knock to the knee rather than the ankle which has been causing all the problems Livermore seeking out Fredericks, Granger away Lover Kovas good moment that for Jamie McDonnell the uh, goalkeeper it's not often that second string keepers get a chance to remind the manager what they're made of, yeah. but McDonald met the challenge well then. He dealt with the Pavlyuchenko first time shot about ten minutes ago, very well as well. Smith to Jonsson trying to get Sketchel free. Townsend. position if Templeton can profit. It's away from Livermore and not from Huddleston. Still Templeton. Now Novikovas. Found a cross of sorts. And deflected and then behind for a corner kick. Well, that's better for the visitors, at least when they get in the last third drive. They've, they're positive, they're taking people on. Quite right, get Chor Luca defending, that's not his strongest part of his game. Flexing out for a corner, now we want to see some quality whipped into in between that penalty spot and six yard box. So I'm here some reds for a fourth in the back. Tonight is from uh, Greece, Anastasios Kakos from Corfu, to be more precise. And his assistant having uh, one or two technical issues. That's complicated things to put together, you know, Flats. And just let's screw it that way, that's right. Should stick. Down with the throw. Glanced away, if anything, it was uh, taken away from uh, Robinson. Johnson will have a shot, charged down by Livermore. Ball did go out of play, Hart's throw, more pressure from the visitors. That was a decent opportunity, that, for, for Scott Robinson. That was dropping to him perfectly. Rudy Scatchel desperate to take control of the situation, get the ball to have a shot himself, just took it off his teammate's toe then.
the Edinburgh voices you can hear. And the official allocation was 2,400, but reports that there are upwards of 4,000 Hearts fans in North London tonight, making themselves heard. No club outside the old firm has a higher average attendance for SPL games than Hull of Midlothian. Ranger Watson let it run and Ken. Well, I think the travelling fans club would certainly be far more impressed with the shape of the team in the opening, what, 18 minutes. A lot better in the middle of the park, a lot more solid. Seem to be aware of, of where the Tottenham players are at the moment. The only players that are really have in the spaces in the wide areas, Townsend. Romanovs took over in 2005 after sounding out other Scottish club. Hearts were in financial trouble at the time. The sale of Tyne Castle looked a likely necessity. Thanks to Vladimir Romanov. Uh, still at their home since the 19th century. In his first full season in control under George Burley and Graham Ricks, he really did challenge the ascendancy of Rangers and Celtic. Not really done since. Tom Dawson, partnership, something to think about, Gordon Smith. Yeah, decent run from Nobby Kobas, great ball to find Smith, as you say, Clive, maybe just take that one on his chest, just to try and drop that down, give him another chance to test Cudicini. Down to wind up that throw again. You always take a short one when you say that. Here's Webster. Johnson, Granger, Cowan has got forward, not quite bring it under his spell and Townsend was able to make a challenge, which has been penalised. Maybe put foot up there, Andrews Townsend is not pleased with that, but assistant flagging straight away as soon as his foot went up. Can't do that in Corfu. Range of the left footer has come across. Webster and Zamukas, the two centre backs, are in the vicinity of Cudicini. Cudicini takes evasive action and Carroll clears. Townsend. And as far as Johnson. Templeton allowed to turn, but to Basson, lost by ever more, hit by Robinson. Got Robinson's only 19. Better though, again, better competitive spirit in the middle of the park, allowing Robinson that shot. That was the whipped in free kick from Granger seconds ago. Cudicini decided to just beat that one away. Brad Friedel on the bench tonight would appear to be top number one now. Aurelio Gomez unemployed this evening. And it's the number three choice, Carlo Cudicini, who will be 38 next month. He's in goal this evening. Quite an experienced Spurs bench. of the second leg gone. Hearts were already two down at this stage a week ago. Carroll. Dawson. Quite been cut with Hubbison's and Luka sort of that, and here's some space for Templeton. Captain's part over here for the uh, pacey Templeton. Yeah, 
poor ball in the end, like that. It was a good opportunity. But Spurs having a little bit of a problem at the moment, trying to find Harry Kane and Pavlyuchenko. Hearts have got numbers in there, and they're shutting that space off very well so far. At the moment, Tottenham restricted to just having a little bit of joy in the wider areas. I'm sure Harry Redknapp would just like to see Pavlyuchenko and Kane link up a little bit more. Kane certainly has the capacity to uh, drop into Sheringham positions. Just a little bit of depth and variety to the Spurs attack. Here he is now tackling up against McGowan, who's strong enough. Not quite quick enough to get beyond Townsend. Kane right back on the edge of his own penalty area. who was with Kane at Lake Norian for the uh, second half of last season. To Townsend, who's had his spells out on loan in the championship in the last 12 months. Referee just having a word with uh, Edron Shaw Luca about something. Something to do with his apparel. Do with his knee. Oh, a little bit of blood, perhaps. Joe Jordan just passing verdict on the wound. It's fair to say he will have played with worse and certainly caused a lot worse. And if he was barking instructions from the touchline, you'd hear them, wouldn't you? to run into, he's getting a little bit in front of the game, a little bit ahead of it. That's better if he gets the opportunity to run onto it like that, much better, but he doesn't want to get too far ahead of the ball, he's playing left back tonight. And running into a good right back in McGowan. Basson. Understand. Sure, Lucas on the way forward. Trying to feed Fredericks. Got there very quickly in managed to offload across which Zaluk has tidied up. Nowhere for Robinson to go. <laughs> Kept his nerve. Jonsson. Pursued by Pavlyuchenko but not dispossessed. Play behind Templeton. Couldn't quite keep it in. Got high hopes of David Templeton already an under-21 international with Scotland. He was on the shortlist for the uh, Young Player of the Year award in Scotland last season. Pavlyuchenko has been cautioned for that sprawling attempt at a challenge. Yeah, well, like he was always impeding Jonsson there, just trying to drag him back in the end, almost wrestled him to the floor. It's a shame, Jonsson resisted the challenge, and then it was a bit of a sloppy pass out to Templeton out wide. And again, more confidence, Guy, from the visitors, the way they played out from the back, not just surrendering possession and allowing Tottenham to turn the ball over immediately. Much better. Better off maybe coming out, coming out the other side and changing the aspect of the play. Tom Robinson does have a fantastic shot on him, but I'm afraid that wasn't one of them. More live football here on Friday evening, live uh, from Monaco tomorrow, the uh, Super Cup between Barcelona and Porto. We start at 7 o'clock on this channel. There's highlights of that match later in the evening on uh, ITV1. The... Uh, draw for the next stage of this competition will take place in Monaco tomorrow before that match catch up with the uh, Champions League group stage draw which was made a little earlier today at uh, half time Chorluka it's 
disappointing ball. Novik Kovac, now he's escaped. Dawson here, hasn't got much in the way of support. Basong able to clean up. Some pacey wide men on the field tonight. Yeah, I mean, that was a good chance for Novik Kovac there. He's done the hard bit, evading Dawson, and keep going. Plenty of grass in front of him to run into. Keep going. Track somebody else, draw another defender out, and then all of a sudden you get others opportunities. Carroll's ball towards Kane, down he goes! Has to be a penalty. Kane got there before the keeper, McDonald. And although the ball was escaping him and he was going away from goal, there was clear contact made by a keeper who's shown a yellow card and will now face a Tottenham penalty. Great ball, Clive. Excellent movement from Harry Kane. Does get the touch first, he's always going to get clattered by McDonald. It's always going to be a penalty. Really good ball in from Carroll. He's stretching Kane, but he gets there. And that's a stonewall penalty. And Harry Kane, who won the penalty, will take the penalty. McDonald's and Kane meet again. This time from the spot. year old Harry Kane, saved by McDonald, who has the final word in their little encounter. I think a lot of managers don't like the idea of the foul player taking the penalty, it certainly didn't work for Spurs there. But here's Pavlyuchenko, and that'll go for a throw-in. He put that little shimmy in, didn't he, Harry Kane, on the penalty? Just wanted to see the goalkeeper move, and unfortunately, sometimes when that doesn't really work to your favour, can get stuck between your feet a little bit and end up not really hitting it anything like you should. That's too close to McDonald, always giving him a chance. Has been scoring goals in uh, the pre season period for Spurs, Kane. And the uh, yellow carded goalkeeper, Jamie McDonald, makes up for that rush of blood and the rush from his goal line by saving Kane's penalty. The uh, aggregate scoreline remains 5 0. Free kick to Hearts. Well, what he mustn't do is let that spoil his night and play on his mind too much. Bigger and better of missed penalties, you've just got to get on with it. Next chance that comes your way, grab that. That's all well, you can do. But you've seen a few missed in the last couple of years. He was confident enough to take it, but not quite good enough to bury it. Smith. Robert Kovas. Now Skatchel. Is Townsend. Kane's touch was good there. Eventually, he's linked up with Fredericks. Well dealt with by Dawson. Over. Pavlyuchenko. Sterling work by Robinson. That's that ball. Jake Livermore's just tried to just pop into Pavlyuchenko there in the hole, but there are a lot of blue shirts in there. They're doing well tonight, McDonald and Johnson. Screening those two centre halves very well. Spurs were allowed to find Van der Vaart far too easily in that position a week ago. Huddleston. Now Kane, good challenge though by Webster. Smith to Templeton. 
Jonsson. Ranger to Skatchel, and now Novikovas. Well, Spurs were three up at this stage a week ago, but thanks to Jamie McDonald, Arts are still on turns. Harry Kane's penalty save, trying to push his claims with Emmanuel Adebayo looking on and I'm sure being told that he would have tucked that away. You should think so for 170 grand a week. <laughs> Do I get an extra for bonuses? <laughs> Bitter that you played 20 years ago, Andy, are you? <laughs> Is that coming across? <laughs> Templeton, halted by Livermore. Now Scatchel. Granger. Frederick's back there, protecting his fullback. Carroll to Basson, here comes Townsend again. From having quite the joy that he had in the opening exchanges. I'd like to see him just deliver it a little bit more, Clive. Room there to just put it in for the, to give Kane and Pavlyuchenko and even Fredericks on the back post something to go for. Hasn't got to go past everybody, sometimes just find half a yard and then deliver it. There's the real thing watching tonight, not even among the uh, substitutes. Huddleston. Youngson away, very well away. Taken by Huddleston. Taken out comfortably enough, though. Poor delivery that guy for Tom Huddleston. Really does have the quality to drop that ball into far dangerous areas. And that one, the first man for someone like him, not good enough. Dawson got up very early but couldn't win it from Smith. It's run through to Skatchel. Now Novi Kobas. Again, showing that turn of speed. And again, unable to provide a telling cross. Lithuanian Novi Kovas. Support in Townsend almost caught on his heels, able to recover at the expense of the corner. Just about, yeah. Got the hook in there and just managed to slide that away. Again, good run from McGowan. Just inside Andros Townsend, always difficult if you're not a natural fullback. 
and sometimes find yourself just getting caught out of position a wee bit. It's down the opposite end from the uh, travelling hearts contingent this corner. Puducini able to grab it. Paolo Sergio's half-time team talk may be a little less animated than last week. He accused his players of acting like spectators who had paid to come in in the first half a week ago. His description of their performance before half-time, off. Not tonight. in the occasion tonight, but Pavlyuchenko maybe chose the wrong pass, Fredericks was free to his right. Luca just about finding Dawson. Webster down to Jonsson. Now Skatchel. Possession this for Harder Midlothian. Casper Granger now to pick across. Cut out there by Dawson. At the expense of a throw into Hearts. Better football again. And Hearts kept it well. Allowed Granger time to get up the field, get himself into a decent position to deliver a, a whipped in cross that just about caught Dawson on the top of the head. Had numbers in the box as well. Fredericks trying to release Kane, just asked a bit too much of him. Fans trying to respond to the uh, Hearts anthems. They're the ones who are doing the cheerleading. <laughs> One by Robinson. Behind you. <laughs> Couldn't hear me. and gets another chance, back to McGowan. Good work by Carroll, yeah. he's about ten years old, he looks like he should be in bed, Tom Carroll. He's done well, Clive, he's drifted off the left-hand side, he's been constantly on the move, always looking for the ball, confident and brave enough to have it. And again there, when he gives it away, he's put his head down and go and get it back, well done. There's not much of him, but he's got a wiry strength and a steely determination. Here's Kane, good control. Pavlyuchenko. Fredericks on the move to his right. Instead, it's Chorluka. Now Fredericks. Hey! Just able to steal half a yard on Granger, but not enough really to find the cross he wants. Just maybe needs to set him up a little bit quicker. Just to one or two less touches, then nip it past Granger and just flash it across that six-yard box. But you can tell he's a little bit more deliberate with his type of crossing. Templeton, seen off by Townsend. Templeton cutting in from the flank there and taking up a menacing position. Of 
thought he was held there by Basson. shape about themselves. Yes, they're away from home, and of course we know the ties beyond them, but they're putting a much better shift in this opening 45 minutes. They look like a team that's organised, that has a belief in what they're doing. And they've created one or two opportunities for themselves, and Smith's been very unlucky not to score. Scatchel got hurt there. Still down. It's a very different Spurs, but it's a very different Hearts too. Really Scatchel, the man in the wars. It's an awkward collision. Angle of legs and both suffered rather unnatural movement, twisted limbs as uh, they came together, but thankfully they're both okay. It's a throw in. to Spurs sporting league. I think for Tottenham as well, Clive, I think he'd be well pleased with the way the young players have acquitted themselves. He just might want a little bit more tempo in the last third. It's just a little bit side to side and coming back out. Good possession, of course. Just a little bit more penetration and zip in that last third. The first half in which... Palo Sergio's heart came closest to scoring with Gordon Smith's effort, which rattled the crossbar. Tottenham had the best opportunity to score when Harry Kane won and then took a penalty, saved by uh, Jamie McDonald. And as a result, the score on the night here at White Hart Lane is Tottenham Hotspur nil, Harder Midlothian nil. Much better performance from the Scottish side than last week. They'll be encouraged, as will their manager, by what they've done so far. Despite the penalty incident, changes coming, as you see, as we rejoin Andy and Clive. Pretty straightforward change at centre-back, with uh, Michael Dawson being rested for the second half and his regular defensive partner, Eunice Kabul. French international coming on alongside Sebastien Basson. The crowd were introduced to Dave Mackay during the uh, half-time interval, a legend at both clubs, the uh, boyhood Hearts fan, indeed captain, who was sold to Spurs for £32,000 in March 1959. He became an absolute legend here at White Hart Lane. Good to see him, good to see him looking well. Townsend. Showed too much of the ball there. Smith to win it. And here's uh, Nobby Kobas. Granger to Johnson. Templeton. He's got support from McGowan. It's Ryan McGowan with the cross. Smith couldn't quite twist in order to guide the header on target. Spurs can bring it away. A little more. Uh, Fredericks didn't quite get the angle right there on that as that pass came into him. Tamely allowing the ball out for the throw in. A lot on his mind at the moment. August is a perilous month for managers with the transfer window still open. Scatchel. Templeton. Too far away. Yep, lucky good hit. Really Scatchel doing exactly the right thing, giving it to Templeton as early as he can. Andros Townsend, very good going forward. 
You never like it if anyone's jinking at him, looking to take him on. Not much of a challenge, not much resistance, but it's just drifted too wide of the post. Bright young Scottish talent. There's a lot said about the uh, golf between the English and Scottish games after the first leg. I don't think that takes a great deal of working out when you see the respective resources of the uh, leading clubs. Here's uh, Templeton again, but right now all four Scottish clubs are going out of Europe before the end of August. Now, I can't remember when that last happened. They're three fallers at this stage a year ago, but Rangers went on to the last 16 of this competition last season, and it all adds up to bad news in terms of qualification for the Champions League. They lost an automatic Champions League group place as a result of uh, a fall down the UEFA rankings list a year ago, Scotland. And a, even a victory in this second leg over an English club would yeah. rack up the coefficient points for Scotland, but they need something from somewhere, presumably Ibrox or Sion, to reverse what could be a horror night for Scottish club football. Templeton over the head of Smith. That's a difficult one for Gordon Smith. He's in there with Kabul. There's only one pers person in the box. They need to get more in there to give Kabul something to think about. Remember back to Monday, the game at Old Trafford. All of a sudden, Nanny appeared. It allowed Danny Welbeck half a yard. And all of a sudden, it's in the back of the net. So the Hearts just have to be a little bit more courageous with trying to get one or two further forward into that box to really try and drag Tottenham centre-halves about. Here's Robinson. Altered by Chorluka. Two of these uh, Hearts players will have given Paolo Sergio something to think about in his in the run-up to Sunday's Edinburgh derby. Three of his back four are probably on duty tonight, and maybe four if um, uh, Jamie Hamill doesn't recover from injury. But ahead of that, lots of uh, Gordon Smith and David Templeton, who was left out at Kilmarnock at the weekend. Megat Johnson, state claims of one kind or another. One by Jonsson. Here's Novi Kovas. The ball was strong enough. Novi Kovas caught it back momentarily, and then Liverpool had it. Eventually, free kick to Spurs. Certainly working on Novi Kovas there. He's trying to resist the efforts from Livermore. Gets back up on his feet, gets a little hook on the ball. Then I think it just bobbles away from Livermore. I'm not sure about that one. I think he's a little bit fortunate, the Tottenham player, there to get the benefit. To challenge from Skatchel, late on Carroll. An iconic figure for Hearts in his two spells with the club, Rudy Skatchel. Pavlyuchenko with a good turn. And here's Tom Carroll. Templeton, though, on towards Skatchel. And that's Trip Townsend. And he's done enough to win a throw in. They love him. Scored goals when George Burley signed him six years ago. Left Hearts to follow George to uh, Southampton. Returned uh, a year or so ago and was top scorer again last season. Let's catch up. Maybe McGowan just had a, a wee dig at uh, Carroll there. Carroll, of course, he put his body between the ball and the opponent, but it's 
only in the desire to try and win it back. I like the Australian McGowan. Yeah. Only 22. Perhaps the uh, play through the summer with the Australian Olympic team. He was in the uh, Hearts team until uh, a week or so ago. Big night for him as well, you know, Pavlyuchenko tonight. Without a bow, all sat there in the stands. I'm not sure exactly whether or not Pavlyuchenko is aware that there's another one in, but it's another opportunity to keep reminding Harry of what he's about and how much he's desperate to, to stay there, Defoe there as well. What did you make of the Defoe van der Vaart partnership no, at Old Trafford? Not for me, it didn't work. It never looked anything like as, as good as the, as, as the Crouch van der Vaart partnership we saw, which was very profitable last season. Peter Crouch is injured at the moment. Yeah. And it's yeah. a lot of forwards now, isn't it? It is a lot of forwards. I just think Pavlyuchenko, by the look at his body language, I never know how much he's really up for and how much he really wants to become a regular at this club. Here's Johnson. Worth the swing. Porter boot, I think, on the follow through. There's a long way out there at Johnson, it really is. And it's there, it's. Jonas Kabul comes flying out and just catches him a little bit. Not quite sure where he's injured. <clears throat> Plenty for Palo Sergio to think about. Jonsson hasn't played a lot in midfield, his favoured position this season. He's been quite forceful. And up front, he's got all kinds of options. Rather as um, Harry Redknapp has, so uh, we saw big Brawny John Sutton in the first leg. At the weekend uh, played Stephen Elliott on his own up front. Ryan Stevenson can play up the front, but Gordon Smith, who's had his first opportunity tonight, is a little bit more mobile perhaps. Johnson was windy and he's recovered. He pulled a muscle there as he's hit that shot with his left foot. Right? He didn't have very little contact between uh, Kabul and Jonsson. Just wonder whether we really trying to hit that. He was some distance out. He's just pulled something there. Throwing to Spurs. Charlie now captain on the answers of Dawson. Huddleston. Never more. Townsend. This is Pavlyuchenko. This is meant to be a pass. Not a good one. Fredericks. Good work by Granger. Yeah. Not so comfortable, Ryan Fredericks, when he steps inside on his left foot. Granger recognising that. It's a bit hit and miss, uh, Roman Pavlyuchenko, yeah. when he misses. Play by Robinson to clear. Ooh, Livermore is so basson, short, and here's Rudy Scatchel. He's got Smith in support. Still Scatchel. Oh, he had much, much better options. Both Smith and Templeton were unmarked, and Spurs got away with that big time. Yeah, Jake Livermore's looking at Basson. He could have stepped onto that, but he was afraid of getting. His pocket pick there from Scatchel, and in the end, as you say, Clive, once it gets a bit tight, he really needs to get his head up. There were other blue shirts arriving. Sloppy play from Tottenham. Absolute full to He knows he has Telukas flying round in behind him. Can't let it go. Must put something on it. Same again. Same sort of delivery. 
Yeah, Hearts is the left footer, Granger from that right side. Granger takes it towards Smith. And in away by Kane. Well, now a chance perhaps for Fredericks to escape. McGowan with another big tackle. Well, in turn by Templeton. Good recovery that by young Ryan Fredericks. the tame free kick in front of the Hearts fans. Of course, with one or two of the younger players, Hearts are seeing an opportunity to wrap a few tackles in and unsettle one or two. You see this one there from Ryan McGann, nothing wrong with that, it's a big, strong challenge. But all credit to Fredericks, he's up back on his feet, well done. Plenty of blue shirts around him again. I'm just not sure whether he was going to keep that one in. Maybe the referee felt he just hit the floor a little bit too easy because the ball was already nipping out of play. Okay. Game play again there by Cow. Same McGowan here's. Harry's considering a change here, Nico Cranshaw maybe. <laughs> Cranshaw, who was uh, entrusted with the playmaker's role, at Old Trafford on Monday is coming on as a substitute now. I think the feeling at Spurs is he's better from the wide positions. He was excellent in the first game. Oh, was really, really strong. Had a decent hour at one at uh, Old Trafford. Fredericks. Grange has done better and better against him. Just got the measure of him, Granger, yet. Yeah. Nothing wrong there with Fredericks just dropping that back, maybe, and letting Chaluka knock that in. And Iron Brew will put pairs on your chest soon, <laughs> so don't worry. Kabul. Kobas, dispossessed by Chorluka. Huddleston. It's beautifully delivered, but Fredericks get a bit weary now, I think. And that's the last uh, contribution of a big night for Ryan Fredericks. Got a bit of pace about him. Uh, Reading, he was a school sprint and triple jump champion. He did that triple jump technique a couple of times against Granger early on, but eventually the more experienced fullback got the better of him. But I don't think it's the last the Spurs fans will see of Ryan Fredericks, 18 years of age. Oh, he's done a right job. All pleased with his efforts tonight. Cranchard looks like he just got out of bed. Got a comb on the bench. Like he'll play from the uh, left now. With uh, oh, maybe coming more over the right hand side. There is Nico Cranchup. Away 
saved by Livermore. Straight to Templeton. Piachenko, Huddleston. Turns for Hearts to break here. Tempt to the Smith ahead of him, Scatchell here next to him. Broken up by Townsend. Robinson flying in. Very committed in that challenge. Gonna get it right as well. Ball just coming off of Pavlyuchenko, a little bit too easy. The greatest ball we gave Tom Huddleston there to try and have it back. I think Nico Franchard will be well suited now to try and get on the ball and just get top and tick in a little bit and have a little bit better possession and control of the game. Across Townsend. Work again by McGowan, he's actually won the throw in two. Next fixture for that Australian Olympic team that uh, McGowan is playing for at the moment is in November, and it's away to Iraq. McGowan's ball forward. Passons rather random header. I'm sure Luca though with a good bit of tidying up. Huddleston, that's a good ball for Cranchart. And now for Kane. Livermore. Huddleston once more. Now Carroll. Huddleston. Oh, shame, there's more than some promise there. Just moving through the gears, Tom Huddleston. Feel that he'll become a fixture in the top of midfield once he's convinced everybody's fully fit. That's what it is, Clark. He's a big man, Tom, and he needs to keep on playing regular, I think, to get the very best out of him. Sometimes it's tough for the bigger guys to sort of try and pick it up and then miss a few games and find their rhythm. He was playing ever so well when he got injured last November. Came back for a spell in April. Kabul. Franchard tagged by Jonsson, who did seem to get the ball. Very tight in there, lots of lots of blue shirts in there. The minute anything has been played inside all night long, there's been lots of players there. I'm not sure how much is wrong with that. signals his intentions. The ball is forward. It's Cranchard. It's towards Kabul. It's away as far as Pavlyuchenko and then Huddleston. Away by Salyukas. Cranchard again. Wilson winning the ball. Ranger clearing the ball, more than a clearance, it's a terrific pass towards Templeton. Couldn't quite take it in his stride, David Templeton, and then lost his balance. Oh, God, that was a fantastic 60s run. Going again, Lucas to Robinson. 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 Kobas. Towards Smith. Just a bit isolated at times, Gordon Smith. Great vision, Clive, and to actually also nail it. I mean, look, he's very little back lift there. He's just thumped that. That's a wonderful pass. That really is. And I think Templeton just tried to dab it down and get it in front of him, and he just missed it there, just with that little touch. And now he's fighting to get it under control, and the white shirts are funneling back. I'm down at here in Scotland.
Templeton managed to escape Townsend. Johnson. And towards Smith. And run. Get himself in the dangerous side of Basson. An awkward header to execute. Yeah. We can see him it's in the middle. He just peels. Actually runs around the back of Sebastian Basson. Does it in such a way that he's still on side and decent ball from Novi Kovac and he just can't, can't quite steer it on target. He missed some chances in a pre-season defeat by Livingston. We're talking about five, six weeks ago now, Gordon Smith. And so it's reported that Jim Jeffries gave him a rollicking at half-time, didn't choose him in the uh, opening games of the season. And Smith's been on the bench ever since until tonight. But uh, he's a player who's signalled his promise in the past. Here's Carroll. By Webster. OK. He's not seen enough of the ball, Harry Kane, second half. Been able to get him involved and... He and Pavlyuchenko haven't really been able to link up perhaps as much as, as I said earlier, as Harry would have liked, Harry Redknapp, but... Keep going, keep believing, and hopefully we'll get something better, maybe as the game goes on, last, last 10, 15 minutes. It's like um, Adrian Morovic, the uh, Polish midfield player, is going to come on, and there's any worry about Zalyu, because he can't play at the back. Still rising. Trudy really Scatchel is going to make way from Robic in midfield. Stop singing since they arrived. Uh, the team have responded, certainly up to a point. In a match for Spurs tonight, which they weren't a week ago at Tyne Castle, despite all the expectation. Here's Skatchel. Looking to sign off with something special, but being dispossessed by Huddleston. Carroll. Trying to get forward, bounced off uh, McGowan, but away from Townsend for a goal kick. Here comes Morovic. And there goes Skatchel. He's <laughs> not, not looking up, just in case it's him, it is. <laughs> and the Hearts fans. But um, Robbie H has been a first choice in midfield this season. Usually alongside uh, Ian Black, who will be available again at the weekend after missing a couple of games through suspension. Yeah, just saying, like, the tempo, the tempo goes up. Ooh. OK, might just get there, McDonald. Might have been the... Uh, 
two key protagonists in the main battle of the evening, the penalty saver and penalty winner, and they came together again there. He does well there, Harry Kane, he's nice and switched on, and McDonald has a decision to make, and he gets caught between his feet, and he just about get away with it. Crenshaw will take the corner. Punch by McDonald. Townsend. Corner kick. Still Nico Crancher wants to take a catch one in the face there. I'm sure it was accidental. This is Harry Kane. Crancher trying to quicken it. Good play by Carroll. Cross was a little long. Granger away. Lucky there, little Tom Carroll. He might be better off just hitting that with his left foot straight across the six yard box. Harry Kane was waiting towards the near post. It's Jake Nicholson, the uh, latest Spurs teenager to be unveiled. England under 19 international midfield player in the uh, Harrow area. Nico Crancher somehow finds his fellow countryman Chorluka. Kane just stumbled at the critical moment. It'll come for Andros Townsend. Townsend's cross. Ooh, all the white shirts in there and he picked out a blue one. Yep, did all the hard work and unfortunately just a little pick out at the end. He's cut it back to two blue shirts. The white shirts are in under the ball, under the near post. Smith, Robiech, now Granger. Cross was deflected, might come back to Granger, this. Could all attack it well, Novi Kovas though. So Jake Livermore, who is going to make way for Jake Nicholson. Livermore becoming more and more a part of the Tottenham present. But another one for the future on the way. Similar type holding midfield play. It was with West Ham United originally, Jake Nicholson. Had a spell on loan in Finnish football towards the uh, back end of last season, but he's a 19-year-old holding midfield player. Play alongside Huddleston now. And here's his first touch in a Spurs shirt, senior shirt. Crunch up. Chaluka arriving. Pavlyuchenko. Well, it was a sharp chance, but it was a chance. Decent ball from Cranchard, good run from Chorluka, and it's a good pick out. He, Pavlyuchenko does everything right. He can't get into the near post in a position where he's going to get on the end of the cross, so he checks out. Now it's just about the contact and the quality, and I'm afraid it's not there. He's ballooned it over the bar. Granger. Instinctive type, isn't he, Danny Granger, when he 
That's his a blast he has one. Well. Picks out a pass, it comes instantly. Crunch up. Some of his passing since he came on has been excellent, but Pavlyuchenko didn't quite time his run there. Better movement from him, though, Clive. He says a bit of intent there to peel off his man. Look, little signal, and he tries to dip back on side. Very close. Very, very close. Well, the talented midfield player on the way here now. Come back from entry for number 21, Mehdi Taou. He replaced Scott Robinson in the heart of the midfield. Little Moroccan international midfield player signed in the summer after running down his contract in Kilmarnock. Picked up a groin injury at Rangers in the opening SPL game nearly five weeks ago. And this is the first we've seen of him since. Teamed up again with Jim Jeffries, who had him at Kilmarnock in the summer. Played one game for his reunited manager, got injured, and the manager got sacked. Plenty happening right and left, but a good challenge by Kane. Nicholson is not quite able to free Pavlyuchenko. Lucky, right idea, just didn't hit it with enough pace. Good tackle from Harry Kane, working back well. Uh, it's happened a lot of times tonight. The young Tottenham players, if they've given the ball away, if they can affect the ball with a challenge, they're doing that. Smith winning a free kick. He's been in the game a lot, Gordon Smith, but when he has, he's looked impressive. Yeah, not easy for him as well, basically up the middle on his own. He's not the biggest of those, but good movement. Upside Templeton, play on. Spurs have it, but we can keep it, so it will be a free kick. Starting to save their voices for Sunday now. We see uh, Suso Santana, the uh, Spanish winger, in a moment. He's uh, not played this season as yet. So it's the first chance for Paolo Sergio to see these players, Taul and Santana. That's a good ball again from Carroll. Cranchart. Straight into the midriff of Jamie McDonald. Oh, well, the goalkeeper quite tonight. Obviously, he's had the, the penalty in the first half, but his hands are very solid. Smith just seems to be laboring with an injury now. Shot. A tight call, I think, this time. Pavlyuchenko just in behind Granger, yeah, just as the ball's delivered. And here comes uh, Suso Santana. He is in and out last season, mainly because of injuries. Finished up having to have a knee operation in May. Good takeover from Gordon Smith. Two years in Edinburgh after seven years in his native Tenerife. Scored against Celtic and Rangers in his first season. Suso Santana. It's like Templeton's going to play down the middle yeah. with uh, Santana on the right. Tell just in behind. 
está o first touch for Santana. That's something had to do with that at the expense of the corner. Yeah, right decision as well. Couldn't afford to just let that go. Never 100% sure as to deal with it. We'll talk about it after the game, but absolutely the right piece of action there from Seb Besson. Right down in front of those Hearts fans now. The action. Granger. Easily away by Kane. He's done some good work inside his own penalty area tonight, Harry Kane. Templeton on the move and Santana's free inside of him. Just played behind Suso Santana. Carroll. Kane. Pavlyachenko. Chuluka is arriving to his right. Pavlyachenko goes for glory. Build up deserve better. He doesn't look particularly enamoured with that strike, and nor should he be. It's such a waste. Chor Lucas run 50, 60 yards from fullback. His body language, guy, to me, he always looks like something that would rather be playing his football elsewhere. Well, Harry might give him the chance if uh, he can do some more business between now and the end of the month. Huddleston. to the Spurs fans who've turned out tonight. Maybe one or two of them bought their tickets before the first leg. It was uh, what they call a Category C match here. Tickets 31 to £46. They didn't do any special deals. One or two concessions for uh, senior citizens and youths. Free kick to Hansner. The other card for... Andros Townsend. Not the first time the name Townsend has appeared in the bookings list. Mm. Late in the challenge. He's about as quick as you now. <laughs> He's getting a bit tired. <laughs> now, Granger's got good delivery from this side, from that uh, far side. And Hearts steal a late goal here. There's the, really the answer from Zalyukas, he thinks it was deflected, well kick given. Lovely ball again, great flight on that delivery from Granger. Absolutely perfect, couldn't have placed that any better. Just Zalyukas getting a little bit too much on it. Here's Townsend. Spurs, Townsend, ooh, caught, the referee had a front row view of that, and gave McGowan the benefit of the doubt, nothing doing. Big news of the night here, uh, confirmation by, well, he did have a little stab at him there, I think that yeah. maybe was a free kick, uh, a penalty. Could well have been that, Clive. It does well, Andrews Townsend, dips back down the line, yep, yeah, that's a penalty. Yeah, the big news of the night confirmation that Tottenham have signed Emmanuel Adebayor on uh, loan from Manchester City. And it almost appeared in a rather strange pre-match interview as if we were breaking the news to Harry Redknapp. He was obviously aware that negotiations were going on, but he didn't know that Adebayor, Adebayor would be here at the match tonight. Save that by uh, Pubicini from Taul's attempt. 
Sancho. Just beyond Carroll. The news of uh, Luka Modric is no news. He's still the Tottenham player, and there seems to be the feeling here that he will remain so until the end of August. I don't know about you, Andy, it just seems to be a bit of a mystery as the communication between Daniel Levy and, and Harry Redknapp and uh, all the toings and froings and stories that we're hearing. It seems to be the case with a lot of managers nowadays. They all seem to answer the same thing. They all seem to say they're not sure where the deal is and how close it is and if it's going to happen. Chemin's made such a stand over Modric. He's got the impression a few days ago that Harry Redknapp was resigned to losing him and fearing that even if Modric stayed, he'd spent too much time tripping over his bottom lip yeah. to be of any great use to Spurs, but we'll have to wait and see how that develops. There was apparently 30 million on the table for Tottenham uh, to move for Giuseppe Rossi in January. I think the money is there without having to sell Modric. But uh, a lot of managers are wondering what business they can do in the last week of the transfer market, what their kitty will be. And I suppose the closer to D-Day we get, the more brinksmanship there'll be. Yeah. Here comes McGowan. Great run from the down, who's worked exceptionally hard all night long defensively and is still at the last minute of the game, still flying forward, trying to get beyond the last top defenders. He's had a good night. He must have had a few E's tonight, I think. He's still going strong. Coca-Cola dead. Granger takes. Made by Troy Luca. Three added minutes. second half but I think half tonight spirited performance much better shape much stronger look about them and from Spurs and Redknapp's been able to give one or two young guys a little taste of what it's all about Jonsson Novik Kobas Townsend. And he white shirts forward. He's got round McGowan this time. Found a cross. Found Webster. And Webster has found Templeton. Can he go in alone? He's got the pace and the confidence, David Templeton. Hasn't quite got the goal to get beyond Kabul on his own. He's just trying to nip inside and then quickly duck back to his left. Just didn't quite get the right contact on the ball. Good idea. Kabul twisting and turning. Carroll has shown a good range of passing this Great evening. Well, he's done very well. Andros Townsend. Yeah. Well, the contest was settled a week ago. 100 miles north of here. But uh, the hearts that were broken at Tyne Castle have been a good deal stouter this evening. Tau. Against the uh, Shadow Spurs team for the most part, but hearts have blooded some youngsters of their own, and Paolo Sergio's faith in uh, the squad that he's inherited be a good deal stronger than it was. Yeah, this team go into a derby match at the weekend in much better shape, much better frame of mind. 
for Harry. He's got new additions coming in, Adebayo. Interesting to see how soon he works him into the team. And of course, he does have a lot of key men not playing, not available. Manchester City here, I think 1.30 on Saturday. In St Tyne Castle, 3.30 on, on Sunday, I should say. They were always the priorities for Harry Redknapp and Paolo Sergio. There's big games coming up on Sunday. Tonight, they've uh, pulled out a goalless draw, which promised goals throughout. Jimmy McDonald saved a Harry Kane penalty in the first half when Gordon Smith hit the woodwork for Hearts. But nothing to separate the two teams in the second leg. It's Tottenham who we'll go through to tomorrow's draw on aggregate with the uh, final score at White Hart Lane tonight. Spurs nil, Hearts nil. Comfortable over the two legs, of course, for Tottenham with all of the hard work done last week and Cranchar made a difference. But Hearts, I'm sure, will take plenty from that performance-wise, if not the result. Didn't win here, but certainly saved some favour.